hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing an unboxing slash review i guess you could say i have a new wig from a company called hey my wig <laughs> hey my wig so yeah this is the box that it comes in so basically they just reached out to me to do a review for them for their wigs and i was so excited because i i'm so tired of making wigs i mean sometimes i do like being able to customize my own wig but it's so much easier to do these types of videos when the wig is already done so i was super excited about that so this shipped via dhl and then across the top of the box has their website on it and oh it also has their contact information on the box as well so when you open the box it looks like this your wig comes in a nice like satin-y type of bag. So you also get some materials as well. All right, so you get a cute pair of mink lashes. These are actually the cutest lashes I've seen come out of like any type of hair packages. Like normally they give you like, you know, synthetic type of lashes but these are cute and they have like a little 3d effect super cute a, a brown skin wig cap nice hmm okay elastic band you could also sew that onto your wig wow this is actually pretty good what is this for is this a scrunchie i'm not sure what this is for um I don't know Psst, hair clips in here and we also got a few bobby pins so that's pretty good i think that's a pretty good you know kit that you get with the wig so i got their lace closure wig in 16 inches and it's their brazilian straight so it came in a hairnet like this the hair is very soft, like extremely soft and flowy. I can easily run my fingers through it. It doesn't have a bad smell. It just smells like hair. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. It's a nice, healthy looking luster. The hair looks healthy. The ends feel good yes so i'm probably gonna give this like a blunt a more of a blunt cut i'm gonna see what it's looking like when i flat iron it bone straight and then i'll probably give it a more like blunt cut if it doesn't come out the way how i want but it looks like it's it looks like it may have been cut like blunt already so who knows We'll see. The lace definitely needs to be bleached. The knots on the closure, sorry, on the closure. I'll show you guys, cause you can definitely see the knots. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, but you can definitely see the knots. It's not terrible, but I'm kind of particular about that. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and bleach the closure, but honestly, I don't mind if that's all I have to do. Like, honestly, I really do wish that my wig process was done after I just bleached and plucked. So yeah, I'm also gonna do quite a bit of plucking to the hairline to make it look more of like a natural hairline. I feel like since I've been wearing frontals, I kind of know how to finesse wigs a little bit better because with frontals, I feel like you really gotta know how to finesse. So yeah um i'm definitely gonna pluck the hairline maybe cut some baby hairs on it yep 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 and then i'll come back and show you guys what it looks like on after i do some customization i do have clips of me of how i bleach my knots and how i pluck my frontals i have videos about that on my other wig video so i will insert 
a card or link them down below in this video so that you guys can look at that if you're interested in seeing that because I'm not gonna film this process because it's kind of tedious to film I'm just gonna show you guys the end product and what it's gonna be looking like so yes I'll show you guys what the inside of the wig looks like so this is what the inside looks like so you have clips on the perimeter of the wig so that it can stay snug in your hair well on top of your head and then there's also some straps to make it tighter as well so that's always great and yeah i mean so far it looks pretty nice i'm interested to see how it looks when i actually style it and customize it and everything so yeah i will be back once i finish doing all of that okay you guys so the wig is on what do we think what do we think to be completely honest with you guys i absolutely love this hair i love this wig i love the length i love the style at first when they reached out to me and told me that you know it was going to be this style to choose from to review i was like eh, i don't know but then i was like well i haven't reviewed any like quote unquote bobs or just like shorter length hair. So I asked for, I was either gonna get the 14 or the 16, but I feel like this length is completely perfect for me because it literally looks, this is how my hair looks when I get a silk press or when I silk press my hair. And I haven't done that since last year, so. I actually thought about doing it um, this year for my birthday, but I decided not to. But wow, this hair really does resemble my natural hair in like a flat iron state. Like, wow, I really love this a lot. The quality of this hair is really good too. It straightens easily as you guys could see in the clips. All I did was use a little bit of leave-in conditioner in it to help get it silky straight and everything and yeah i love this hair absolutely love this hair i've actually worn this wig already for about five days and like i've gotten compliments on it at work people thought that this was my hair people thought that i straightened my hair and then i told them like no this is actually not my hair so yeah i love this this is like the only natural looking wig that i have so i don't know i feel like i would get more use out of this one because it's just i feel like it's easier to maintain because the length is short well short shorter than what i would normally get and then on top of that it's a closure which i miss i miss closures because frontals they're cool and all but oh my gosh they are not something that you can just throw on and go like this i feel like is just like a quick easy fix one two three boom 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 put it on brush it out bam you're out the door and that's like perfect for my lifestyle at this point because there are some days where i don't want to deal with my hair and these past five days have been like that basically so I'll share this with you guys so i did bleach the knots on this closure i bleached the knots on the closure i over bleached them so then the bleach ended up going up into the roots of the hair i should have took pictures to insert to show you guys like how i've almost like ruined this hair yeah so i over bleached it by accident because I don't know what got into me like why i didn't just think to sit and watch the knots bleach and make sure i was monitoring them but for some reason i just got i was just like hey f it we're just gonna put this bleach on i'm just gonna walk away for 45 minutes with some 40 40 volume developer 
not a good idea. I've done this before though with my frontals and it worked just fine. I've had to like sit for like almost two hours with a 4D volume developer on my frontals that I've received before. So maybe it's because I don't know. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because the lace was just really tough. I don't know. So I thought I was going to be working with that with this one. That was a big mistake. I should have just monitored it like I normally do. And yeah, so I came back and like a lot of the front section, this portion right here was like blonde and then it was black. So I had to go back and re-dye the hair only at the roots. So I did that all throughout the whole closure because like, I effed up. I really did, I really, really did. But it's okay because I fixed it. I mean, some of the knots got turned black again, like a little bit, but it's not that bad. It's not that detrimental. I'm not gonna make a big fuss out of it. It is what it is. I love it regardless and it looks bomb. I love this hair. I really, really do. Anything to it. The only thing that I will say is that this wig is too big for my head. I really have to take the straps and adjust them and even then it's still loose. I mean, I could go back and sew an elastic band onto it. I still haven't done that yet though. I thought I was gonna put baby hairs on this wig, but I kinda, I don't know, I don't want to because I feel like normally when I straighten my hair, I don't lay my baby hairs at all. I just leave them be, I just keep them straight. So I just figured if I want this to look almost as if I were to do my own natural hair like this, then I might as well just not include the baby hairs. So I'm not gonna do that this time. I mean, I could always cut them just in case and then see how it looks and then just go from there, but Eh, I'm not gonna. Let me show y'all where it comes to on me. So I didn't wear black, just so that you guys could see. And I'm just gonna comb this out a little bit. Um, yeah, the wig has really good movement. I'll do the wig dance, the weave dance for you guys. Body movement, we love it. We stand. Absolutely. We stand completely. So yeah, I highly suggest that you guys try the hair from Hey My Wig. That's all I have to say. I have nothing but good things to say about this company. The shipping was completely fast. Um, working with the company has been great so far. I've got nothing bad to say, you guys. Like, this is just such a natural looking wig. Oh my gosh, like it looks like I flat ironed my hair. Oh, another thing I did do, I did trim the ends a little bit because since it is kind of like a, I don't know, it's meant to be a bob. So like it kind of comes like asymmetrical down right here. And it was a little bit too long for me right here. So I cut a little bit. Minimal shedding, minimal tangles. I mean, you really don't have any problems with this hair because it's number one, it's straight hair, and number two, the lengths are shorter. So that, of course, the ends on it are bomb. Let me know what you guys think about this hair down in the comments. Comment down below any questions that you may have for me down there. I will put all the information about the company and this hair down below in the description box so if you have anything about the hair that you want to know it will be down in the description box but if you don't see it you can always comment down below that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful to you thank you guys so much for watching this video comment down below any videos that you would like to see from me in the future let me know what you guys think of this new look and this wig and if you will be trying anything from this company in the future let me know down below in the comments thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video